everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Laura, one half of the Fat Bird Finds duo of Laura and Mary Beth. We want to welcome you today to the channel Fat Bird Finds Crafting and we are thrilled that you have chosen to join us today. If you're new here, welcome and if you're returning, welcome back. Uh, as we do every video on this channel, let's jump in with our calendar pages for the day. Uh, the very first one is news headlines from this day in history of the New York Times. We'll start with Monday, February the 5th. So today, February the 5th in 1999, the headline was officers in the Bronx fire 41 shots and an unarmed man is killed. My goodness. Amadou Diallo, an immigrant from Guinea, was killed in the doorway of his Bronx apartment building by four officers from the New York Police Department's Street Crimes Unit, the Times reported. We have a very undemocratic society back home, and then we come here. We don't expect to be killed by law enforcement officers, Mr. Diallo's friend said. The officers were acquitted of murder charges. Okay, and our other page of the day comes from the calendar, 1,000 Places to Visit Before You Die. This one is highlighting the Trans-Siberian Railway in Russia. Look at that beautiful rail car. While most rail cars on the Trans-Siberian Railway aren't this fancy, this is a photo of the luxury dining room, dining car. The train does boast plenty of other superlatives. It's the world's longest continuous rail line traveling close to 6,000 miles between Moscow in the west and Vladivostok on the Pacific Ocean and crosses seven time zones. Man, that's spectacular. That would be an awesome trip. Okay, and we are saving all of these um, calendar pages to do a project with towards the end of the year so you will want to be sure and subscribe so you will know when we do that project it's going to be a good one today we're just going to do some random gluing it's so much fun one of my favorite things to do and so let's just dive in All right, now I'm switching to a voiceover. Um, as you guys probably know already, this is a little bit more of a lengthy process than is um, able to fit in a 30 minute video. Uh, so I do like to do voiceover and speed up as soon as kind of the playing and gluing starts so that you don't have to sit through, you know, every single bit of back and forth and me trying to make up my mind and me kind of staring at the page, <laughs> which we all do. And it's part of the fun of it for, for the person gluing, but it's not as much fun to watch. Um, yeah, so here we go. And um, this is like, this is out of the random glue book style. Um, again, I was inspired by Nicole at Relax Cut Glue with her um, little method for her big random glue book. Maybe you guys can help me think of a name for this one. Um, but yeah, she um, says that her method is that she starts with kind of three different categories, small, medium, and large rectangles, and kind of places all those down and then um, ends with some fussy cuts and uh, some phrases and words and, and embellishments like that. And so I'm following her lead and I'm going to try it. Um, this is my second page that I've done in this book and I did one in my practice book. So I really like this method. So I highly recommend it if you're just starting out, then you can tweak it, you know, and do whatever you like. Um, once you get comfortable, you know, with glue booking in general. So, but this is really fun, and this is kind of an easy little, I don't know, for lack of a better word, recipe to follow, and um, it keeps your focus a little bit and gives you kind of a skeleton or an outline to go by, and that makes it more fun. 
I did want to go ahead and say that most people are interested in knowing the type of book. So this is um, just a sketchbook from Walmart. I think the brand is Pen plus Gear, P-E-N plus G-E-A-R. Um, it's very affordable. I think it was maybe six or seven dollars, if that. It has 75 sheets. And did I say it was at Walmart? It's at Walmart. Um, they're perforated sheets, so you can tear out the sheets um, if you need to. And also they're acid-free, which isn't the case um, with some of the, the different books. And that just keeps it from yellowing and that kind of thing. Um, it's not crucial, but it is kind of like a nice little bonus here. And then, oh, the sheets are 9 by 12 and there's 75 sheets. Right now I'm not planning on taking any out. Um, that's one of the benefits of working in the spiral bound. Um, it's, it will get chunky, but, um, that spiral binding gives it room to move. Um, so it doesn't, you know, curve over on itself and everything. So I think I'm really going to like, um, working in the sketchbook with the, with the spiral, but I love working in composition books too. I like to kind of get an inspiration piece. So while we've been talking, you've seen the little puppy dog face with the daisy in his mouth uh, pop up. And I knew I had that other um, little bit of daisies with that blue background. So those were my two kind of inspiration pieces. And I just pulled out a whole bunch of rectangles that had similar colors. That's where that blue was coming from. Um, there's a lot of white on the left hand page there and um you know some just just whatever will go with that puppy dog face um that's that piece there is so cute it's out of an amazon toy book or toy catalog and then actually i found the flamingo piece and the little pool piece on the bottom in different magazines so that's cool and I've got a little surprise that's going to go in the pool that's really fun and cute. Um, and so that's what I'm working towards on that left-hand page because I've got a fussy cut to go um, in the swimming pool and, as a surprise here in a few minutes. And then I'll go back to the puppy dog again on the right. It just takes a lot of fiddling around <laughs> and trying different things. Um is it perfect? It's never perfect. Uh, especially when you're going to go back and when you go back and edit these videos, you can really see some things that you might have done differently. It's like, oh, man, I wish I would have left that in there. When I do it here in a minute, I'll, I'll tell you the one that I wish I could redo. But <laughs> alas, it'll be fine. It's just for fun. But you know, it's kind of the fun of it um, in the editing process. You're like, oh, man, next time I'm going to be more careful with that. <laughs> Here we're all, I'm, I am auditioning pieces, left and right. Like I said, I have a stack that I had pulled out, and I thought it, originally that might be cute because I was just thinking puppy kind of goes with cartoonish kind of things, but I just wasn't feeling that one after all, that, that pink. Now, I think she looks surprisingly good. Like, even though she's in the desert, which kind of isn't uh, in any of these pictures, she has the right color scheme. I like the sky that's showing. She's got the blue shirt, and um, also I like that muted magazine paper. That came out of a Reader's Digest. I got several Reader's Digest. Um, I think I showed them in my first thrift haul. Uh, but it, um, they were surprisingly good. I liked all the images in those. I, I hope to find more like at a thrift store or yard sale or something like that. I hope I find a bunch more of those. Those were great. Okay, so now I've gone back to trying to place the puppy dog on the right-hand side. I know he needs to be in the grass and kind of out in nature. Um, so this is my attempt at that. <laughs> 
There he is. Now, see that piece of daisies with the blue background? That also came from a Reader's Digest. And um, I love it so much. I've tried and tried to use it. So I was just determined in this project that I was going to use it on this page. In hindsight, I like the puppy dog just fine. And he turns out to be really cute in this meadow or in all this greenery and stuff. And he had the daisy in his mouth. He really didn't need the daisies in front of him. If I had it to do over again, you'll see here in a second. If I had it to do over again, I would just use the puppy. <laughs> but, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I thought he was coming right up, but it, it, it will be on here in a minute. I changed out the red room for the blue and that turned out perfectly. Sometimes you just um, know it when you see it. Well, most of the time, actually. Just like that piece there, that looked perfect there. So, um, I see that uh, there is a gap right there. After I glue the blue couch in, there is a gap, but I do know that I have the puppy in mind and that he is a bigger piece and he is gonna cover that up. So I am not concerned about that in the least. You can also use washi tape to fill in some of those imperfections with your cutting. And it ends up looking really cute. I really like washi tape. I'm a new fan. I haven't really used it in the past. So I thought I would just mention a little bit about uh, my other channel while we, while we are filling in the gaps here and working on these pages together. Um, we do have Fat Bird Finds as our original channel our mother channel, so to speak, or sister channel, but it's the original channel. We've been on YouTube about three years, and um, my uh, partner on that channel is Mary Beth, and she will be crashing the crafting channel every now and then. Um, and so watch for possibly a video where she crashes this channel, maybe on Thursday. And that's exciting. She is going to be um, drawing. I have I am more of a crafter and she is more of an artist. Um, I know, you know, makers can be artists as well. Um, but she, what I mean by that is that she draws and sketches and um, by day she is a graphic designer. So she has that kind of background. And so those are the kind of projects that she likes to do. So she's going to crash and show you um, some of her drawing skills. So that's going to be really fun. And I had a great idea. Maybe um, she's going to have a journal and it's going to be kind of a draw along with Mary Beth. So um, each time she's on, she's going, going to use a prompt to draw and have you guys give you guys a hashtag and have you draw along with her and uh, keep up keep a little journal or something with it and I thought maybe we could also use the prompt as a glue book prompt she'll have a sketch journal and maybe I will follow along and um, show you guys what I do with a prompt in glue book form how do you guys think that sounds so watch out for that in the coming um, week or so. Maybe even as early as Thursday if I can get the video edited because she's already done the drawing. It's great. You're going to love it. Yeah, we had a great show on Friday night. So with Fat Bird Finds, that's the reselling slash thrifting um, content channel that I've been talking about. Mary Beth and I do a live on, at 9 Central on Friday nights, and we have been doing that for several years now. So it's really becoming habit. We started during the pandemic, and the idea was to kick back and relax, have a drink. Here's my puppy dog. Pardon my stopping of the story. There's the puppy dog, and did you guys see that? He looks better without the daisies. I know, I know. 
You don't have to tell me. <laughs> you you can comment whatever you want. But yeah, I'm just um, admitting to the fact that, look at him right here. He looks way better just like that. Laura, don't put the daisies down. But hindsight's twenty twenty. That's okay. It's still very cute. I'm just pointing out that, you know, I would have done that differently. I would have left him just like that. Okay, I was talking about our show. So I was just going to just tell you guys that we just had a really great show. It was so much fun. And you should just stop by and see us sometime on Friday nights. Yes, we started, you know, where people would have something to do on Friday nights because nobody could go out. You couldn't go out to the movies. You couldn't go out to eat. You couldn't go out anywhere. But then we've built this great community, and now then we all just like to hang out together on Friday nights. So you guys are welcome to come do that with us anytime. We just have a ton of fun. There is a live sale aspect of the show, but it's only a portion of the show. And obviously, uh, no purchase is required ever. It's just for fun. So look, here's my surprise. It's the whale. Isn't that fun? Obviously, he's out of proportion, but it's still super fun. I love that he's popping up out of that swimming pool, and I've been saving that for a while. I found them separately, and I just happened to see them together one day, and I was like, oh, I've got to use those together. That is too cute. That puppy is kind of looking over at him like, oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> So now, um, this is the fun part, so to speak. I've got the, the layout all figured out and glued down, and now I'm just trying all my fussy cuts. Look at those hands of cherries. They didn't quite work, but I can't wait till the next time I can use those. I think they're adorable, but they were kind of hiding all those pictures that I worked so hard to put down. Now the ice cream cookies here, that big stack, that's beautiful. It looks pretty good, but not really good enough. Um, those cookies are spectacular, and I think they'll look a lot better on a different page. I decided I would save my lips for a better page as well. They don't really fit on anything, and this little guy didn't fit anywhere either. <laughs> so I'm going to pass on him and put him back in the basket. As you can see, it takes a lot of uh, auditioning. Something just, you know, has to hit you just right. None of that was really working for me. Those food items, they, did, they didn't look quite right. Um, this sandwich is awesome. Again, look, it doesn't pop out at all. It just gets lost in all of that. So I'm gonna save it for a better spot and just keep looking. Now this, however, kind of strikes my fancy. I love all the bright colors. I like that it pops off the page up there next to that blue. I like that it plays down to the blue close to my focal point, the puppy. Um, I just really like it. It would also be adorable in my rainbow glue book. But you know, Sometimes you gotta just sacrifice. <laughs> There's always another image around the corner to be had. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little guy down and just keep playing. Now our third channel is a podcast channel and that dropped an episode today. We are right now diving into the first season of Mad Men and we're going episode by episode and doing like a deep dive and it's like tons of fun. Um, you can listen to it, Fat Bird Finds Podcast. You can listen to that like on Spotify or anywhere where you can listen to podcasts. And also we have a video version on YouTube. So you can go over there and subscribe and... Um, all of our channels are listed in the description box below so that it makes it easy for you guys to find us. We appreciate it.
it's always so much fun to see how these pages start to shape up and how they change every time you add a new element. And um, I think that's what I, I really love about it. And, you know, your artwork is contained in these books, like the sketchbooks or the composition books, where every time you find a batch of new images, you can just sit down and play and open it up and glue them in and have a whole new look um, to your piece. So I, that, I think that's so much fun. I can't wait to kind of build up a whole bank of books and, and fussy cuts to sit down and play with again. Look at her. I was so excited to find her and her little scuba gear. I think that's the perfect addition to the swimming pool. And I think that sort of completes that scene. What do you guys think? It's really coming along. So even though um, she looks kind of finished in the pool area, I think the whole page really needs more. I like that little square. I wish I had a few more different ones that size because that looks really cute. And that was really easy to tuck in in, in that spot. Um, but so as you can see, you know, it still kind of looks pieced together. So some washi tape might be nice. And like I'm playing with that sticker up there, uh, some words and phrases and stuff might really make it look more finished. So let's look for some of those. I couldn't resist putting that rather be at the beach. I had some some feedback from a watcher or subscriber that said that they kind of didn't like the stickers. And I get that because that white background is stark. Look how that puppy uh, blends in so much better than that white background sticker. I get it. But I just thought that was so perfect. Rather be at the beach in blue up there with that little blue Jeep beach scene. So I went ahead and went for it. You know, it brightens it up a little bit. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence about the stickers. And there's a little orange flower for my puppy and his daisies. I'm trying to kind of make that blend in better. Maybe that orange flower and this orange fruit might help. I think that looks pretty good. Orange and blue is fat bird fine colors. So I'm always drawn to that and it just kind of makes me chuckle every time I think um, I'm really drawn to something or I really like the way something looks. I look closer and realize that it's orange and blue. <laughs> So that's great. We've got that trimmed off. Um, oh, I got these out of Country Living, these um, collect collector or collection of bottle tops. Aren't they cute? I think they look really cute on my little desert girl with the blue jeans on. I think it's just the vibe for that. So I am going to put one there. I know it's just a little thing, but boy, those little bitty details real, really add a lot of personality to the project. And now here's the rest of my words. That water um, phrase is just kind of, hmm, I don't really like it. But the little explorer with the little boy there looks fantastic. That's definitely a keeper. And here I've pulled out the washi tape. First thing I saw was the polka dots. And I think those colors look great. And even though there's not like a huge area to use the washi tape, I still wanted to try a little bit of it. So I did find a few small um, little segments of the page where I could use it. And so I'm going to put it down and I think it looks great. I think we're getting close. Um, a few more words and phrases might do the trick here. And um, we never call our pages done because we can always come back and add more. 
but on these kind of random double page layout kind of pages, um, I do kind of try to fill them up as much as I can before we leave the video. And uh, But we'll come back to them and look at them again and add to them and, you know, have all kinds of fun with those. I'm still trying to get my um, scheduling down. I just don't have a certain schedule just yet um, for the videos for this channel. So if you don't mind, if you do enjoy the videos, if you would hit the like button and then also the bell, that would notify you whenever I do get a video out um, so that you don't miss one. And um, I will try to get better and more specific about what days that I post content because I know um, that makes it you know it makes it better when you can expect a video I always know what days to expect Nicole's videos and so I'm always the anticipation is great because I think oh my gosh she's gonna have a new video out today so I will work on that for you guys I appreciate all the new people here on the channel. The The channel is still quite new, just a couple of weeks old. And I appreciate all the subscribers and everyone who tunes in and watches, especially if you're, if you're still watching this far into the video. Really, really appreciate you. You guys, the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend. So how many of you guys are planning on getting out all your crafting gear and having the ball game on, but then doing all your crafting and stuff while you're still part of everybody in America watching the Super Bowl? I love that kind of thing. Um, you know, if you're not the hugest football fan, it's fun to get your crafting stuff out and just do all that at the same time. And, um kind of watch the game and then kind of occupy yourself with your project. I think that would be fun. I think I've got a party to go to this year, but if I didn't have somewhere to go, that's definitely what I would be doing. All right, here comes some of our words. Uh, the smile looked cute there, but see, this looks better um, because it doesn't have that white background and that really pops right there. I don't know who I'm telling to be more expressive, but I love the way that it looks. And then the little amazing word there. Look, that makes such a difference just to tilt that a little bit. But yeah, that's definitely a keeper. I like the way that looks. Maybe sometime when the channel gets going and we get uh, a few more friends and subscribers, We'll do some lives, just like I was talking about, you know, with the Super Bowl or whatever. But we'll we'll do some special live events where we stay on here together for a few hours. And it'll really be a craft with me where you, you know, where you, where you can plan and plan on having all your stuff out in front of you to work with. And um, we can just keep each other company for a few hours while we're doing our crafting. I think that'll be so much fun. But that's probably a little bit further down the line when we get a few more people in our little community here. Great morning. Doesn't that those green rolling hills suggest a great morning to you? I, th I thought that worked out cute. And small surprises. That looks almost perfect right there. <laughs> So you guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you again for hanging out with me and be sure to hit that like button on your way out and subscribe so you don't miss a single video. We appreciate each and every one of you. Feel free to click the links and check out our other channels and stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. Bye everyone.